everybody. Glad you're with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set and towing the slab, Kyle Harrison. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Mookie Betts nope. at the plate now. That's ball one. There's a swing and a drive. Wade raging back towards the wall. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Fair ball! And that rolls into the corner. Into second with a double, and they've got something growing now. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Right through there for a strike. Man at second. And that one fouled off. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And a one-two. In the air, out towards right center. Touches down, that's a hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Runners at the corners here. One away. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one missing low. Good spot for the hitter, definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, one out. That oh, one ball. misses, and that's ball three. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. High fly ball down the left field line. That one back. Into the bleachers and gone. That was blasted to the moon. His 12th of the season. The Dodgers strike first. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back.
looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One down. And now it's Max Muncy. Just missed. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. One one now. Fought off foul. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. Oh, I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Just missed. A little bit lower. Two out, space is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Kike Hernandez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Kicks and deals. That one well upstairs. And it's 2-0. Oh. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Ramos right there to make the grab. And that'll do it. Big three-run shot for the Dodgers. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Oracle Park, our starter in this one, it's Walker Bueller. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. And now the DH, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Slice to right. Dives. What a play. Such an impressive display of athleticism while making the catch. It takes so much mental focus to pull it off, especially in the outfield. Just a fantastic play to rob a hit. And here is Matt Chapman. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Swing and a foul straight back. One out, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. Struck him out. Now two away. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two down, nobody on. That one hammer, but pulled foul. Pitch That's misses the there, and a count two and one. Kicks and fires. On the ground to the left. Bets. Slings it across. Play made. That ends the inning. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. They trail in this one, 3 0. Back here in San Francisco, Miguel Rojas at the plate. Miguel Rojas. The pitch. Rojas in his 10th season 35 years old and they went out and made a trade for him last season saying he wasn't very sharp in the first got hit around a little bit just wasn't able to locate particularly well a lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate yeah bro he wasn't fooling anyone it's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made sometimes it's location sometimes it's being too predictable nope. sometimes Outside. you're tipping your pitches he's going to need to figure it out quickly though And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. That one fouled off. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0-2. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And, Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Next Ball offering three. upstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Way outside, and that's ball three. And they'll do it again. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Into center on his way over, and makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Here's Mookie now. He's over one. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. The shortstop takes a ball. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count, one and two. Two outs. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. 
battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. That one down the line, and foul ball. The lefty fires. This to center field. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And we're back. And now it's Wilmer Flores. The first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Wind in the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. The 1 1. Foul ball there. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And down on strikes he goes. One down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Two strikes. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. One down, base is empty. Line drive, caught! He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Elliot Ramos. Right through there for a strike. Drill back towards left center field. That's well struck. It falls in, and that's a hit. He drove that ball very well out to the deep part of the field, and you may be surprised he didn't get a double out of it, but I'll tell you, they did a great job of getting that ball back into the infield right away, and it might have been the right call to hold him at first. Blake Sable stands in now and watches strike one. The 01. That's towards center. Pajes makes the catch, and that will end the inning. One left for San Francisco. They trail it here, 3 0. New inning getting started. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. You know, these Dodgers do a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. The batter now will be Will Smith. 
singled and scored his first time. Eight. Swing and a miss. 0 1. 0 1's the count. This one in the air center field. Out number two. Now batter, the right fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Teoscar Hernandez, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch misses. And one and one. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. On target. He got him. Nice play. Dodgers go down quietly. But they lead it three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Casey Schmidt. Bueller back to work. Pitch in the dirt, one and zero. Oh. Counts one and zero. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Here comes a pitch. That one misses, and it's 3 0. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Pitch is in there. And it's a full count. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the back. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team with bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's the second baseman, Brett Wisely, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. That one clips the outside corner. It's 0-1. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Just missed. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Fouls it back with two strikes. And another ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Here's a 2 2. Now a fly ball to right center. Pajes under this one. One away. Tyro Estrada to the plate, swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's all along. That's in there. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And the 
righty deals. One ball, two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now it's Matt Chapman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a strike. And a pitch. And now it's even up. In the air, out towards left center. And that's the inning. So the Giants leave one. Still down, 3 nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Max Muncy. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll one. And it's fouled away. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. It looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. Pies. Hey. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Nobody out, runner at first. And that one in the air center field. Sizing this one up. Schmidt makes the grab. Now yeah, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call Kike. me off. But he stayed Hernandez. focused and made a nice catch right there. Here's Kike Hernandez. Fly to left his first time. And that's in for a strike. Pitch. Way high with one that strike. one. One and one. Foul ball. Muncie over at first with one away. And the pitch gets a piece and stays alive. Inside almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Now all even up. That one way inside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And now the lefty. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another five foul balls in this at bat so far and these two are going head to head 
you can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Got him swinging. So digging in, Miguel Rojas. In the air, right side, Yastrzemski. Has this one sized up? And that is that. One left for L.A., but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Here in San Francisco, bottom of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Lamont Wade Jr. And the right hander back to work. That catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70 percent. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up into this point. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cold nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The Giants trailing by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Down the line. Hernandez hustling after it. Got it. Nice grab. Runner tagging from first. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He's over one. Ball one, no strikes. That one almost got him. No, oh, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Close, but call the ball. Ball three. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That clips the corner. One out and a runner at second. And a foul ball. Man at second. And That's ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here's Elliot Ramos. And he's already singled in this game. Outside, and it's a ball to strike. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Freeman drifts towards it, and a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Runners at first and second with one gone. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. This to third, dive, and he's got it. To his knee, the throw, there's one. To first, not in time. 
great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Blake Sable will hit next. First pitch, not close. His fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Headed for the play. In to score from first. And they trail by one. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So, runner at second, two down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Casey Schmidt. One for one with a single so far. That one's in there. Strike one. Sable at second with two down. Foul off down the right side. So the tying run at second. Lifted in the air right center field. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. And the home team down a run. And we're back. We Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Austin Barnes. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. That shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That one felt good. It's 4-2. They put a good swing on it, but the box score might want to credit the win for that home run. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's Mookie Betts. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Strike one. But he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. That misses. Ball one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off.
hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. His seventh home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And that's in for a strike. All in one. you one. Just missed. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Jordan Hicks appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Rodgers, a left-hander, also throwing. And he deals. That's Misses. Ball. And the count is two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Freeman hits it in the air. Wade moving under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Now, Will Smith, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a strike in there. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Inside, almost got him. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered in this game. Bounced out to short. Schmidt. Fires across the diamond. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 5-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Daniel Hudson. And something to be aware of, the long ball has been a little bit of a problem for him this year. Daniel Hudson. Yeah, the batter now, Brett Wisely. And there's one thing the on his mind, this at bat, get that first hit at the big league level. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Hudson, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. And the 0 2. Got him. And a quick out, number one. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't now think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Tyro Estrada digs in now. Up and in, and it's one and over.
Righty delivers. Splits the plate, and it's one and one. The Dodgers trying to close out a three-run lead last half of inning number five. That one to first. Freeman steps on first for the out. Now batting third baseman, Matt Chapman. One out left for the Giants. Stepping in, Matt Chapman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Swings through that one for strike one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. They're down to their final strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. The Giants down to their final strike. Out towards left center, and it falls. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Wade in the box again, takes the strike. Chapman leads off first with two down to the inning. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. Bueller with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case, as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final score, 5-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.